Well, Epic turns 10 this year, 2023, and the mission throughout that time has never changed, to learn from lived experience to take the problem out of gambling. I, I think the fact that people have attended today represents their commitment to want to do more when it comes to preventing gambling harm and minimising the risks that it, it brings. It's an important and significant day, and interestingly, you've got people from from very different sports coming together with, with a common goal and a common aim. Yeah, I mean, when we envisaged putting on an event at Wembley, the home of football, probably the most iconic sports stadium in the, in the country, if not the world, you know, it, it felt like a pretty big undertaking. So to have the likes of Peter Shilton in the room and Brian McDermott, ex-Leeds manager, and, and, and many others in the room, you know, just shows um, what a big radiator sport can be for a message. This is an honor to be here. The diversity of backgrounds that are in this room that are coming together to talk, to sit and listen, to bond over coffee, and then connect in the future, I think is, is, is also very cool. If you put somebody in front of them with lived experience, somebody who knows what elite sport is like from the inside, then that inevitably um, gives far more gravitas, I think. To, to the issues that they're talking about. It was so inspiring to listen to, you know, other, other sportsmen, ex-addicts and ex-gamblers. Um, I thought that, was, that came across really strongly when you've got so much lived experience that you're listening to. But the nature of the subject that we're covering is emotional. It's hugely personal. Um, I feel like everyone in the room is there because they want to be there, they want to affect change, they want to take this back to their networks, their organisations, within their own ecosystems. And then of course there was the white paper released today which produced some, some brilliant recommendations on how to reduce gambling harm going forward, not just in sports, but in eSports. I think taking it down right to the beginning of the academies, the younger age groups, bringing, getting parents involved, you know, I think it's endless what we can achieve, you know, if we, if we keep going with it and we keep having people in rooms together like we have today. You know, I said it inside, I think the biggest thing I'd like to see in the future is to get more of those stakeholders involved. It's been an incredibly interactive day. Um, there's been some really key messages, there's been some very honest conversations around things like stigma. And for everybody to come and be so open and collaborative, I think is what made the day such a success. It is really needed, and it probably has been needed for many, many years. And I think Epic will just grow and grow and grow. It's very, very special to be a part of something that in five years from now, we can look at our progress of how far we've come. In there, you felt there was, there was a sense of unity and a sense of purpose, and Epic were able just to pull that together. You know, it's, 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 it's come a long way to Wembley in nine and a half years. It still feels like there's a lot still to be done.